Ah, it's you two. Yeah. <laughs> we, we didn't expect to see you here in person, though. Does that mean this event is really important? You think I only make an appearance for occasions that are deemed sufficiently important? It just so happens that this Test of Courage event was actually my suggestion. But, naturally, I've left the planning and more trifling details to be arranged by my retainers. Considering that such events are quite popular across Tevat, I've had numerous examples to draw from, so everything should be in good order. I'm merely here to do a routine check on the progress of the event. Oh, hi, my guess. In that case, maybe you can give us a quick rundown of the event room? <laughs> Only Paimon could be s However, the possibility remains that we may yet- Uh, sorry. What did you- Ah, uh, nothing. <laughs> Yippee! As its name implies, the event is a game designed to put one's courage to the test. The venue for the event will be set up in the Chinju Forum. Once teams have been formed, the event staff will announce the name of an item that has been placed in or around. The first person to locate the specified item will be declared the winner of that round. The winner of that round? Precisely. The merchants raised event funding, the Kamisato clan provided the grounds, and the Grand Narukami Shrine provided consulting services. As such, each of these three parties have selected one item for participants to find. So, naturally, the event will require three rounds. <gasps> Gets it? So basically, a boy will need to find one I- Yes. Seems you- If a participant manages to find all three- Ooh, a grand- As for its true value, of course, this event is intended to measure your current- I'm curious myself how many people will be brave enough to make it to the end. Don't worry. Those pro- Even though just the thought of this event sends shivers down behind on- No need to be so modest. Anyway, I think I've given you sufficient details. I'll add your names to the list of participants momentarily. As for the three items you'll be searching for... Oh, and a friendly word of advice. Test of Courage events tend to give rise to a variety of strange rumors and stories. So please, be sure to exercise caution. Whoa, what did I mean by that? Oh, will there be spooky things in Chindu Forest? Paimon thought so. Anyway, we got an event to win! Hold it right there! Oh, well, if it isn't my compadres. Huh? Paimon knows that voice. Oh, wait, don't tell Paimon you're here for the test of courage. <laughs> what else? I'm sorry, but uh, those prizes already belong to yours truly. Arataki ain't scared of nothing, Ito. I mean, well, uh, that's what I really want to say. Oh? What's that? Ah, it's a long story. As soon as I heard about the Test of Courage, I got the gang together and was ready to bring everyone for the time of their lives. But, uh, it turns out the other members weren't as pumped about the event as me. Chinju Forest? We've already been there. That event's just a game for kids. Seriously? Test of Courage? Ugh, whatever. Can you believe that? What a group of deadbeats. I'm not gonna put up with that. Nuh-uh, not in my gang. Oh, Paimon gets- Hey, this isn't about me. As leader of the Arataki gang, it's my duty to find new and even if they can't get it through their stubborn heads now, one way- Anyway, I'm no stranger to Chinju Forest. Sure, it was a little terrifying going through there, but hey, I'm used to it now. It's seriously, what kind of scary pranks could those guys in the Yashiro Commission ever come up with? If they can't scare anyone, then it's not gonna be a test of courage now. Not to mention, if the gang starts complaining, I won't ever be able to show my face around here. And after all that talk, it's still- Ah, well, leading a gang can be complicated, you don't understand. Anywho, I've got a plan. Since there's no way I can trust the Yashiro Commission to make a fun event, I've decided to step in and spice things- Wait! Oh, you bet I do. Yours truly is gonna be out scaring people. <laughs> I'm taking this event, but it's gonna take more than an Oni to make it happen. Come on, come s- No way! Pretty please? Forget it! Pretty, pretty, pretty- Ah, oh, fine. But don't forget, we're here to win the test of courage and take home the grand prize. We'll help you out, just don't get in the way of our prize. <laughs> yes! <laughs> 
You're a real Oni saver. Hey, don't worry. With me around, winning the test of courage will be a piece. All right, those participants won't scare themselves. Let's get out there. <laughs> what a noisy guy. Hmm. But after hearing him laugh and talk, huh? Maybe laughter is the key to making fear go away. Hey, traveler, Paimon, enough chit chat. We're gonna. Ah, uh, coming. Paimon! Ah! Oh, don't stick- Got nah, nothing, I just had a thought occur to- I want to scare the gang members real good, but now that I think about it- <sighs> You're only now realizing- Practice? Hey, uh, I've got it! Why don't you join the test of current? Then you two can judge my scare- Just wait, you'll see how scary this Oni can be! <laughs> and there he goes, running off and still talking to it. Well, we were here to- Oh, seems one of the event staff is over there. Aha! Uh -huh. You must be- Yep, that's right! That's right. Huh. I can already see a dark aura surrounding the two of you. Yes, if you carelessly go running into- Oh, what's with the sinister laugh? Sure you don't want to back out? This is your last chance. I'll count it down. Sure, you could say that, but no need to worry. Allay your qualms and suspicions. Ever just enjoy the calm before the storm. The first round is about to begin. Have you already- Ah, you finally said something that Paimon can understand! Yep, the two of us will be partners. We always make- Hmm? But it appears your names were written together as a single participant, which means you'll have to find yourselves another partner and- Wait, are you serious? Ugh, if only Ito hadn't gone running off on his own! We could've- As far as I know, there have been other participants who've yet to designate a partner. You could go ask around. Just be sure to make it quick. If you don't have a partner by the time the event starts, then you'll be immediately disqualified. Uh-oh. We can't let that happen! Oh! Traveler and Paimon! Huh? It's a young... Yes. My brother told me that the event would be most interesting, and suggested that I personally participate. I have never experienced a Test of Courage event, so I don't really know what to expect. Oh, so this is your first time? To be frank, I'm no expert when it comes to the supernatural. I often worry that I haven't shown spirits proper- Oh, speaking of which, may I ask if the two of you are partners- Actually, the Shrine Man just told us that we only count as a single part- Splendid! In that case, how would you like to be my partner? I always feel at ease when you're by my side. Uh, but of course, please don't let me get in the way if you wish to participate with someone else. Oh, you'd really like to? Then it's my honor. Or I suppose I should say, please pardon my inexperience. And if I appear to be frightened, please promise not to laugh at me. Ah, it looks like the event is just about to start. I will now reveal it's called... Dango Milk! Correct! Tomoki was kind enough to provide us with his dump. The path will be marked with signs to... Now, if you're ready... We don't want anyone to beat us to it! Let's go! This 
This reminds me of a story that a retainer once told me several years ago. There was a wandering samurai, who while crossing the forest at night noticed that the familiar scenery was beginning to change right in front of him. The man stopped and realized that it was as if he was in another world. Strange creatures that didn't appear to be human were all staring at him. <laughs> That's super scary! Paimon doesn't even dare look at these trees after hearing that story! Mm, will we really be okay? If anything weird jumps out at us, teach it a lesson, Traveler! <laughs> oh, I'll show you how scary this Oni can be. <laughs> how was that? Were you scared? I can't quite make out what it is, but there seems to be something moving there. everyone. Isn't this... and there's a scarecrow beside it. Well, it doesn't matter now since we found the... but there's no way we can carry back. Paimon could use a sip. Ah! The scarecrow stood up! It appears to be guarding the dongle milk. You mean, it's watching if we touch the dongle milk? Uh, don't worry. Paimon did... Oh, maybe you're right. Mmm, tastes great. Indeed. Any fears I had a moment ago seem to have been dissipated by the dongle milk. And now that I look around, my brother once said that fear stems from one's heart. And if your heart is at peace, then fear... But fear is not entirely bad. Although I've been scared a few times, I would like to continue walking through the forest for a while. Ah, I see. Well, I shall continue... Don't worry. Now that I've experienced the event once already, I won't be easily frightened. I'll see you later. Have a lovely chat with your friend. Hey? Whoa! It's really you! What are you doing here? Oh, hello. Miko told me about the Test of Courage event taking place here. It's more or less the same as I- I wasn't scared by anything, but on the contrary, some of the event participants were horrified the moment they saw me. Oh, that Miko! Did she send A here to scare people on purpose? If that's the case, it feels like A isn't really experiencing the event like everyone else. Oh, Paimon has an idea! We'll give you a bottle of the doggo milk we just found! That would make you a winner in this round, too! Ah, yes. Isn't that the dessert drink we had the last time we met? Sure, I'll take one. Actually, I've sensed a familiar feeling ever since I arrived here. It's brought some old memories to mind. Huh? A familiar feeling? Have you been down to the beach by any chance? I was just strolling nearby when I noticed a space at the beach with a familiar game set up on it. I took a brief look and it appeared to be a game where you control flippers hovering in the air. I saw the game was called Akitsu Yugen. I'm guessing it originated from Akitsu Hazura. Akitsu Hazura? It's a game where you use Hagoita to hit a ball towards a set target. It was once quite popular during festivals. Makoto also enjoyed playing Akitsu Hazura when she was alive. Yakiyako was still around at that time, and nights in Inazuma were much more lively than they are now. The yokai would hold festivals from time to time, gathering to drink, laugh, and play music. Oh! Does that mean you could eat the delicious festival food whenever you liked? Yes. The yokai called their celebration the Mikawa Flower Festival. Makoto and I attended it once. She found it particularly fascinating. Sadly, the past has all but vanished. But seeing a game like that again does make me feel happy. Sounds like it could be fun! Paimon would like to play! If you're interested, you can go- It was still being set up when I was there earlier. Yeah! 
I shall return to considering you two. I think you should have no problem making it to the- Oh, of course! <laughs> I know you can do it. Good luck. Paimon doesn't remember hearing anything about a game on the beach from my- Oh... The mo- <sighs> What'd you think? Do I know how to scare people or what? Oh! Uh, uh, Paimon was hiding behind you the entire time. I. Uh, Paimon will leave this one to the traveler! Wait, uh, what? No way! Listen, every time I made my move, I scared the living daylights out of it. Even I had no idea I possessed such talent. But this is just what I needed to hear. Now I'll show them. The gang will know just... Anyway, I've already figured out which path they'll be taking, so let's wait nearby and... <laughs> now... We're getting close. Come on, come on, come on. We can't let... Oh, here they come. So, how are you going to scare them? Easy peasy. We'll wait for them to get real close, and then we'll jump out and shout... Huh? What are we, a bunch of kids? Hey, don't underestimate me. The gang's probably moping along, but it's dark, and they're... Before they come to their senses, we'll already be halfway to... Shh, you hear that? All right, I'll count us in. Ready? Two. One. on a second. <sighs> Did you see that? So all the strange rumors... <laughs> oh, Paimon. Hey, you want to talk? <clears throat> well, you, sh you shouted ghost, so my instinct to escort you two to safety kicked in. After all, real ghosts are terrifying. My skills are... Com oh, because I just realized that they were also running from us. Which means they were afraid of us, too. And if that's the case, then there shouldn't be anything to worry about. Ha, ah, now that I've calmed down, I'm starting to Oh, definitely not. No, during the event, I took a little- Those three weren't from the Yashiro Commission. Come on, let's go back there and take a- Huh? But, but if we go back now- Oh, it's all right, Paimon. If you're scared, you can stay here. Travel- Really? Oh, that'd be great. Oh, right. The lab during the investigation, whoever- So- Hmm, it looked like they were- But then you'll be all- <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, Paimon has a bad feeling about this. They scared you that bad, huh? Huh, looks like they really do have a knack for spooking people. This time, I'll capture him and learn their art for scaring people. Anyway, I'll catch you around. And there he goes, running off and talking to himself. Again. Oh, do we really have to go? <laughs> but the second we see... Those three went. Paimon didn't see. Oh, maybe Ito was right. Maybe they've been hiding. Huh. Hey, listen up, you. Th ah, there's someone actually here. Paimon's scared again. <sighs> Don't do it. You can't give in to your desires. Just hold on a little longer. You've already come all this way, right? Uh, excuse us. Did you happen to see... 
three rascals pass by? Are you two? You have no business coming here. If you value your lives, you must leave immediately. Otherwise, your souls will be trapped here forever. I won't warn you again. Now, away with you. Be gone. Wake up. Hey, Traveler, wake up! Thank goodness you're okay. Before we get to that... <laughs> Please don't eat Paimon! Paimon doesn't taste very... <gasps> Please avenge Paimon! Scary person? Oh, I only found the two of you passed out here when I arrived. There was no one else around. What happened? Tell- As I suspected, there appears to be something more behind the- But let's get back to your original question. The truth is, I was commissioned to come here for an- You were commissioned- That's right. Some time ago, a peculiar game was discovered on the beach. A peculiar game on the beach? Huh. So you've heard the game quietly appeared some time ago and has since attracted some players. There was no one on the beach other than visitors and tourists when the game appeared. And stranger yet, it could operate normally without anyone supervising it. People at the beach can start the game simply by talking to the bulletin board. Could it be run by... Some tourists started to say that, and the rumor began to spread, until it became a full-blown ghost story. The further that story spread, the more plausible it seemed, causing people to be unwilling to go anywhere near the beach. The Tenryo Commission wanted to close the beach in order to investigate the situation and dispel the rumors, but before they could do anything, the Yashiro Commission organized the Test of Courage event here. People that were initially scared by the rumors began to believe that the beach game was actually a preview event planned by the Yashiro Commission for the Test of Courage, so visitors have gradually returned again. But I'm quite positive that the game never had anything to do with the Yashiro Commission. Wait! So the Yashiro Commission were fully aware, but Ayato must be one of the smartest guys we know! Who knows? But I'd rather trust tangible evidence than speculate on his thoughts. As for my commission, Apparently someone reported that they found themselves... According to his own account, he kept returning to the same location no matter which way he... <sighs> Even though it was obvious that he wasn't telling me the whole story, the testimonies of his friends did validate that what he said actually... On top of that, it was also this very incident that led to all the ghost rumors. Who set up the game on the beach? And why did the Yashiro Commission help them cover it? I need to uncover the truth. Anyway, don't mind me. However... Please proceed with...
Thank <laughs> you.